Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I have a fun video today. Now, a long, long, long time ago, I was talking to you guys about the differences between acrylic paint, gouache paint, and watercolor paint. Like, what were the differences in everything? So this image right here, one, is acrylic gouache, or acryl gouache, acryl gouache. <laughs> I don't know, but one is Turner acrylic gouache and one is regular Arteza gouache. For Christmas, I asked my parents, can I have some Turner acryl gouache? I cry, acryl, acryl, it's like acrylic gouache, okay? I don't know if I'm saying it right. I mispronounce everything like Michael Scott as always. So with Turner acrylic gouache, or acryl gouache, whatever, <laughs> This is completely different from gouache. Regular gouache that you would buy at any art supply store. So we're going to start with this image from Bridgerton because I love that show. It was wonderful and beautiful. So this is like the scene where she's having a dream and they were both dancing with each other. And it was a super beautiful dream scene kind of dance. And I love all the costumes from that show oh my goodness i would take every single dress from that show and wear it for the rest of my i would have a dress from that show and wear it every single day of my life so let's talk about acryl gouache all right you have to understand big things you need to know if you've ever worked with gouache in the past you have to know that with watercolor and regular gouache you're kind of able to rework it but you cannot do that with acryl gouache I had to learn the hard way because, you know, I have worked with gouache in the past and I have this ceramic plate that you saw me put the gouache on. I was really putting a lot more than I needed of each color and I didn't know that once it's dried, it is dried. And that's not even true about acrylic paint. When I put my acrylic paint onto my palette or wh whatever I'm using to keep all my colors on before I start using it, it doesn't dry as fast. Acryl gouache dries super fast. You have to understand it dries really fast. So when you're putting it on your ceramic dish, you see I've got this plate. I have a ceramic dish by Ray Dunn that I put my Arteza paint in, but it cannot be reworked once it is dry. You cannot add water to it and you cannot use it again. Once it's done, it's done. And then the same thing goes for when you're working on a piece. You have to work on it right there and then. Usually I can walk away from my gouache pieces and I can work on it continuously over time. And if I mess up on something, I can rework it by adding water and just kind of pushing stuff around or put more layers or colors into a layer I already have. It's great for layering, but when you're blending stuff in, like for example, Daphne's dress and her face, you have to do it now. So if you're doing a piece with acryl gouache or this brand or whatever brand you choose, you have to work on it. You have to dedicate time to say, all right, this is going to take me three hours. I have to sit down and carve out three hours to do this piece. So it's just totally different from Arteza regular gouache. Now with Simon over here, I am using Arteza's brand of gouache. Now Arteza their brand now this isn't a sponsored video or anything but honestly their brand of gouache paint is what made me like gouache because back five years ago i was really interested in getting to know more about turner acryl gouache or just acryl gouache in a sense i just wanted to know more because some of my favorite artists like perry Noliam and leanne he and a couple of others they were really into gouache and i really wanted to know more and they were using turner acryl gouache so i bought some and it scared me and i did a review about it about five four years ago and it was just it was a terrible piece and i ended up just letting that whole entire brand of paint sit in the bottom of an art drawer that I had and it eventually dried up. So I asked these for Christmas and I gave it another shot. You can see Daphne, she kind of looks okay, but the thing about Arteza's gouache, because five years after I bought the Turner, gua Turner Acryl gouache, I got Arteza's gouache and then I realized, oh my goodness, Arteza's gouache is easier, but I didn't understand that I was dealing with different sets of 
paints, different mediums basically. One was acryl gouache and one so if you're going was regular into this gouache. And you really want to try out gouache, you need to try to understand the differences between acryl gouache and regular gouache. One is more related to watercolor and one is kind of like an acrylic paint, but I feel like I deal with acrylic paint easier than I did acrylic gouache. The thing is, <laughs> there are supplies for every artist. Obviously, like Paranolium, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but if you follow her, you pretty know, pretty much know who I'm talking about. But, or Lian He, if you look at their art, obviously acryl gouache, it's their thing. And I think they even use something bigger than Turner Acrylic. There's another brand. Wolbein. Wolbein Acryla Gouache. That is another brand of acryl gouache. Now, I actually found this fun definition, so listen up to what Holbein is. Holbein Acryla Gouache is acrylic designer gouache is a fast drying opaque acrylic based watercolor paint. It's water soluble while wet and water resistant matte and opaque o even over dark surfaces. Acrylic gouache is great for grounds and layering. It is compatible with a water soluble media and possesses excellent light resistance. So that is the the description of Holby acrylic gouache. No, no, no hard feelings towards anybody who's really into acrylic gouache. I'm not a fan. I like regular gouache and I like Arteza's gouache because they're the ones who, like I said, they got me back into gouache to give it a second try because when I got their gouache, I was scared because I thought, oh no, well, maybe their brand will be different. But I just didn't know, I was not really more, you know, I wasn't, the smartness wasn't there. I just wasn't educated on the differences between the gouache mediums. So if you like watercolor and you want to be able to like kind of rework your pieces, then you need to go with a gouache brand, whether that be Arteza or, you know, you know, you got like, um, Michaels has a brand, I believe, or Hobby Lobby has a brand. Um, you've got all these different kinds of gouache, you can research it, which ones are easier for you and your price range, or if you just want to get started on it, there are, like, sets of smaller packages of gouache paints. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you now that I did return the Turner Acryl gouache. I didn't like it, I didn't see that I could keep going forward after this piece that I made. And I was just like, I don't think I can do this. Because before Christmas, I was up in the air between two brands that I wanted to try for two different types of gouache. Now, one was regular gouache by Haimi, H-I-M-I. I was looking at theirs because I saw some artists using that and I thought this is a kind of a cool setup, I might try this. And then I was looking at Turner Acryl Gouache. And in the end, I did ask for Turner Acryl Gouache, but not seeing I didn't want to leave it in the bottom of my art drawer again and just let it dry out. So I was just like, you know what? No, I'm gonna take the time frame window and send it back. So I did send it back and I'm going to try out this different gouache. But now you know, I learned my mistakes. <laughs> and now you know, you can learn through my mistakes. <laughs> you can learn through this. And I hope you'll try gouache. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe I'll do a review on the Jaime gouache set. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Bye!